Thousands of employees at Telcom Kenya could lose their jobs as the government has threatened to withdraw the firm's license. The Communication Authority of Kenya's CEO, Ezra Chiloba, told a parliamentary committee that the authority will not renew Telcom's license owing to its huge debt burden amounting to 9.4 billion Kenya shillings. Stephen Leto now reports. The Joint Committee of Parliament probing the Telcom Kenya buyout today received shocking revelations from the Communications Authority. CEO Ezra Chiloba told the MPs that authority will revoke Telcom Kenya's license when it expires next year. It means is that when Telcom Kenya comes under review for a new license, which is due next year, most likely the authority will not grant that license. The shutdown means that thousands of Telecom Kenya's employees could be rendered jobless. The company has sunk into debts accruing from unserviced loans. These are major regulatory issues that we are concerned about. When I talk about 9.4 billion, at the time we wrote the letter to National Treasury, it was 7.2 billion. But the date has since escalated. Chiloba says some of service providers like the American Towers that leases towers to Telcom Kenya to operate could pull out their services soon. So if American Tower decides to shut down Telcom, it means the customers of Telcom Kenya will not be able to receive the service. I, Edward Jeroge. Earlier in the day, K.O. South Member of Parliament Gideon Kimayo revealed to the committee that there were already plans underway to sell all shares held by Jamuhuri Holdings and the government of Kenya to another entity. Claims that Telcom Kenya Board Chair Edward Jeroge confirmed to the committee. The new government has asked them to look for a new investor. Is that what you said? Yes. Yeah? That's what he said. Yes, that's what I said. As I said, we have been requested to look for investors. Uh, we ha are involved in that process. MPs accused the Telcom board chair of being used by the Mauritius and Cayman Islands best Helios company to micromanage the company in their favor. Was the board of Telcom Kenya properly constituted? If there was a quorum. Would you have acted otherwise? So are we dealing with the chair of Telcom? Do we know for sure whether the person appearing before us is appearing as Edin Joroge or as a chairman of Telcom Kenya Limited? Walikuambia utachitua kwa sababu isa ile shares isha itachukuliwa na serikali. Na we ukachinyamasia mbaka tare kuminatisa waziri ya kwa kuandikia barua. After waziri kukuandikia barua tare kuminatisa ukanyamasa tena. Telcom board chair Edwin Jaronge was at price to explain his role in the irregular buyout of the firm. Jamuri Limited was just a special purpose vehicle. With Telcom board admitting before MPs that Jamuri Holdings was simply a special purpose vehicle for a transaction of 6 billion shillings, MPs say Wednesday they will be unveiling the drivers, conductors and passengers of the special purpose vehicle used to siphon taxpayers' money at Telcom Kenya Limited. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV, South Sea, Nairobi.